Coach Esposito, 2014 Flow Nationals, Coach Esposito, first off, how do you feel about the rules here, man? Out of bounds and riding time for high school kids. I like it. You get to kind of see how the kids start to adjust, you know, to the college rules. Uh, I think, I bet you a lot of kids like it. I mean, I like the idea. I mean, pitting out of bounds, turning out of bounds, those things are, are great. Um, Riding time, I think you know a lot of high school matches could be won or lost on riding time, you know as it is in college. So I think it's, I like it, I like it. It's a good thing. Looking at how they run the tournament too, it's pretty coach friendly. You get to sit in a loge very, and watch very, it. How do you like that? Coach friendly. I think it's. I love this arena. Um, as a coach, you know you're sitting up, you see down on the bowl, you can see every mat um, on the microphone, um, kind of telling you who's up, who's going to schools, who's not going to schools. You know some of those seniors that might sweep by you. Um, I, I actually personally, it's been one of the been one of the better tournaments that I actually were able to view as a coach. Looking at guys and looking for needs you gotta fill. Mm -hmm. What specifically weights are you guys looking for at Oklahoma State? We're looking for guys that want to win national titles. Bottom line, and who's going to help the team to win national titles? Those are the guys we're looking at. Um, not the guys, we're not looking at guys for certain spots right away. I mean, there is some ideas of what kind of areas you want, but just because you have a good kid at one weight doesn't necessarily mean that it could be another kid that maybe not even play the role of the starter, but a guy that's also going to get back to the program and even work his way into it. But we're looking for guys that want to be national champs and want a team to be national champs. You guys lose Chris Perry. Obviously, you got to be looking for 174. Oh, we got a couple good 74 pounders coming in. Crutchford. We got Chandler Rogers, who I just heard he beat, beat a good kid at Iowa. Um, we have uh, Crutchford coming down. Uh, we have, um, you know, you never know what kind of size that, you know, maybe you understand the size Marcel is going into, but a guy like Louise, you know, or, um, there's a lot of guys. We got a lot of guys with that. So if any coaches tell you they don't have anybody, they're straight out lying to you. Looking at 157, moving Alex up. I hear he's going to go up to 65. Could he yeah, go to 74? He could even be a 74 if he wanted to be. He's enormous. Uh, he, uh, you know, he's a good kid. He reminds me of Johnny Hendricks a lot. A lot like Johnny Hendricks. Um, tough kid, man. Tough, good kid. Um, yeah, he's a great, great kid. Uh, he probably plans to move up to 65 next year, uh, but he's big enough to be 74 if he wanted to be. So that's easy to go into that. We got a great strength coach. 97. Not 97. No, 97. What are you gonna do about 97? 97. We got a uh, we got a red shirt um, sophomore coming in next year. It's a pretty good kid. Austin Schaefer. Pretty tough kid. Took uh, second out of Reno tournament champions uh, college division as a red shirt. So we got a tough guy there too. What do you guys got to do to get the, the gold trophy instead of the silver trophy next year? We got to win. We got to win. Many guys to step up. I mean, in terms of things, uh, we've been having guys the past couple of years stepping up above their seat and above their expectations and. Coach John Smith, I mean, um, probably these past two years, out of all, you know, as my role as assistant, I'm starting to get deeper into it. Uh, but the past two years, being a part of and listening to Coach and learning from Coach, I'm realizing how good of a coach he actually is. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, compared to the way he coached me back in or our teams back then, he's constantly adjusting. I mean, there was a couple speeches he gave this year where I was about to throw my singlet on and go wrestle. Um, he really, I mean... I can't explain to you how, how I mean, to have an 11 seed make it to the finals and lose an overtime match to win, and then, um, uh, you know, Austin Mars being an 11 seed, being, being a tough guy, and, you know, coming back all American, just having guys that are, that are nipping at the bit, he has, you know, he has even us as a staff just eager eager to keep doing it, and, you know, really, when you see Coach Smith believe in you, I mean, it's just like, we can do this, guys. We can do it. I mean, a couple times I thought he was going to kill some people. You know? <laughs> but um, I mean, he, he reacted a completely different way than I expected. And I just was like, I was, I was amazed by it. I was amazed by it. And I mean, uh, he's a great person to wrestle for. He's a great person to coach with. So. Do you guys, and I don't know if this is your decision, obviously it's probably John's decision, but do you keep Mark per or Chris Perry around? I love him, Chris. I mean, he's a great kid. Um, you know, Chris is still water, homegrown kid. I mean, 
went to high school there, went to college there. I mean, he's dealt with adversity that, you know, I, lo I like little Mark a lot too, and I went to high school with him, but he's dealt with a lot of things that little Mark didn't have to deal with. And for him to go through what he did and the pressures of family and the pressures of being in Stillwater where he grew up, um, he's the toughest kid I know. I mean, talk about a guy that's the most clutch during the most crucial times, and a guy that, you know, they're saying it's, it's you know, who's a tough competitor like Andrew Howe, um, and him just take on the responsibility and go after it to win it. So keeping Chris around, Chris is going, Chris, Chris is playing on wrestling. He's going to stay in Stillwater. So. I like to hear that. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to like to hear guy. that, too. He's great, man. I love, I love, uh, I love the way our guys are, are starting to do things, and uh, Coach Smith's doing a great, great job with them, and raising a lot of, you know, great assistant coaches. He's raising me up well in that, and uh, learning a lot. Every time I think I know something, I realize how much I don't. You know, so that's a good thing. You're always learning. You guys recruit PA and Jersey really well. Your your Jersey. And then Kindigs, PA. Kindigs, PA, Marcel, then, PA. Yeah, we're you, pretty good with our PA guys. Very good we're with almost PA. Almost flawless. I mean, if Kindigs would have won it this year, we Coleman had uh, Scott. Teague Moore, Teague Moore, Coleman, Oliver. J.O., yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're pretty good with our PA guys. When we get them, they do well. So, I mean, uh, pretty good top name guys. I mean, if they could keep their head on straight and if we could help guide them and show them the right way, um, they can turn out very well. I mean, if they buy into the system, they buy into it all, the lifestyle, um, they can go far. But yeah, um, you know, Pennsylvania, I mean, you look at the numbers, I mean, they have the most guys qualify for nationals, most All-Americans. I mean, this is the hotbed of wrestling right now. Oklahoma's fighting its way back. I mean, we've been trying to hold the standard to the high school coaches to get them going. So I think the time of Oklahoma right now is, is going to be pretty, pretty exciting as a high school level. But, you know, Pennsylvania, I mean, it's a great, it's a great state. It's a great state of wrestling. You know, Jersey's, Jersey's fighting their way back up. They're not PA. Jersey's not PA. Um, Jersey's kind of in a situation. I mean, I would put them even a little below Oklahoma right now. Uh, but Jersey does, so it does have tough kids. You know, tough kids that grow up with tough parents, and you know, winning is a important thing to them. So it'll turn. It has its, it has its times. Last question I have, yeah. the million dollar question for me. Mm -hmm. Who do you bump Kindig up to 57? No. Do you send Kalika up to 57? No. How do you always has a Kalika's 41 pounder right now. He could go up after Kindig. Kindig's too small for, for he was small for 49 this year. A lot of people don't know what Kindig went through this year. You know, he got hurt universities last year. He wasn't even supposed to be wrestling until January. And uh, he came out, he, he, he busted his body and learned it. But no, he was small for 49 this year. I mean, um, he, he was underweight all the time. Who wrestles 57? Yeah. That's the question. Who wrestles 57? Well, we got guys in there. We got guys in the room. There's guys in the room that are there. We have some depth at that weight. We have some incoming freshmen too. You know, we got a lot of guys that are that are, that are there. We got a you know we got a Blees coming in. You got a lot of different guys coming in. I mean, you know, it'll all work its way out. It always does. So. Um, I'm excited for it. You guys? <laughs> you got anything else for me? Um, no, I love the coverage, guys. I mean, you guys know that already, though. Uh, so, eager to see a lot of these things going on. So, excited. Thanks. All right, Coach Esposito. Thanks for the time. Enjoy the finals tonight. Thank you.